bookworms. Have you ever come across a book where the book is set, say, between two characters? Uh, main character A and main character B tells uh, the story of two individual stories but mashed together to make one overall arcing story. And you find yourself going, main character A, I do not give two hoots about, but main character B, really intrigued with their story. I want more of that. That is what's happened with me after reading this book. Bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the, say, love story, drama, sexual in the window, just mental greed that is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Now, I'm going to start off by saying this. The only other Colleen Hoover book I have read is Verity. Absolutely loved it. Went into Verity not having an idea of what to expect. Colleen Hoover completely blown away. This book, I went in with it with the only expectation of I want Verity. However, what I got was slightly different. And, you know, be it good or bad, it, it, may, it depends what tickles your fancy in relation to reading material. So, with that being said, ugly love story between two people. Main character A, Tate. Main character B, Miles. Tate, student, doctor, not so much looking for love, finds love somewhat in the form of Miles. Miles, not looking for love whatsoever, is a pilot, doesn't have women in every port, but he has a troubled backstory that doesn't allow him to love. Now, when I say that, it's not necessarily he can't love. He has just chosen to turn love and relationships off in his life. And this book takes you on the journey of one chapter being Tate's, one chapter being Miles, where they decide to have this awesome thing that's called No Strings Attached Sex. And everything gets all complicated because basically they start going into each other's past and he feels like he's got more feelings she's got more feelings and then it just turned into a big pile of mess because they can't do no strings attached properly that is the story <laughs> so i have read ugly love and this is my reaction or discussion with it okay overall the story's okay tate's story now tate is a girl tate She's the doctor or nurse. Her story is weird because, in essence, she admits from the get-go that she wants more than no strings attached sex throughout the relationship with Miles. And the things she does to cater to his needs in relation to no strings attached, where literally she is just getting railed like a cheap hoe, yeah, she downgrades herself, and I left reading the book having no respect for Tate whatsoever, going, you cheapened yourself, and you go back for more because you want to cheapen yourself again, because you have no self-dignity, because you think this man's going to change, but he's treating you like a hoe, and you're allowing it. As for Miles' story, besides the fact that he's treating her like a hoe, his backstory, not his current day story, the current day story's messed up. The whole thing's messed up in relation to trying to have a no strings attached relationship and then they realize all that they like each other and then they gotta navigate all that shit. Besides that, his backstory in relation to the reasons on why he doesn't want to have a relationship, holy shit, that, that was awesome. The story of his past is wild and it's just like damn like when you find out what has gone on and then you think back to all the slight nods that he has done in relation to his current day interaction with Tate I was like man I'm really digging this Miles story because everything sort of has a purpose in relation to the narrative and the story that he's portraying. As for Tate, Tate just seems like, oh, please, have sex with me, and then you will love me, and we will be together forever. Oh. 
But like, in all seriousness, the Tate storyline, especially his past, and how it flows to the current day, it gave purpose and reason to it. I really enjoy it. The Tate storyline, sorry, that was the Miles storyline. The Miles storyline I enjoy. The Tate storyline, I didn't understand. And it could be the fact that I'm not a woman. I'm not put in that position. But I will say one thing, and this book was enjoyable up until one part where, no, sorry, I'll rephrase this. There is one part of this book that completely took me out of the book. And it was the part where literally Tate allows herself to get railed by Miles while Miles is screaming out another person's name. And Tate explains that she is aware of what's going on. She's okay with it because he needs to get past whatever he needs to get past. And I'm like, woman, you need some help. Now I say that, but that's solely because if I was to put myself in that position and somebody else is doing that to me, I would be like, nope, I'm out. Um, but I don't know. I guess love does different things for different people and different people will allow themselves to go through complete torture for another human being. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But in essence, that's a story of ugly love by Colleen Hoover. It was literally man and woman decide to have a no strings attached relationship and basically stuff it up and realize that hey we're all in this together and we like have feelings for one another so with that being said the question is will ugly love by colleen hoover be going on to my bookshelf the answer is no um not as good as verity while i did enjoy as i said miles's story i didn't enjoy tate's story i found it very well you know, shallow but in saying that i mean i'm glad i read it it's a never Colleen Hoover book off the list. I will go and donate this to my daughter who wants to read this. So I'll let her go and read it. Um, but in saying that, yeah, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. You have not made my bookshelf. So, bookworms. As a customs here on the Weekend Readers Book Club, one book closes, another book has to open. It is now time to find out what the next read is. And bookworms, we can confirm that... This book has been a long time coming and I'm super excited for it. Bookworms, the next read is The Maid by Nita Perros. Now this book won many awards at the Goodreads Book Awards. I have been on six months on the wait list to get this bad boy into my hot little hands from my library. I wanted to read it through the library first to see if the hype lived up to everything. If it did, then I'll go out and buy it and put it on my bookshelf. But The Maid by Nita Perros. You are the next read for the Weekend Readers Book Club. So, Bookworms, that there was my discussion and podcast today of Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, a book that I'm going to say I half enjoyed. Half didn't. But I, I enjoyed it more than half. I just didn't like one character. Absolutely adored the backstory and the trauma and the torment and how it played full circle to current day's life for the second character. So, mixed bag. As always, bookworms, you can feel free to follow us. We are on Instagram and Goodreads under the name Weekend Readers Book Club or wherever you get your podcasts from or on YouTube under the name The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thank you again for joining us and bookworms, happy reading. <laughs>